Hello and welcome back to RTL Studios. This is Hansiel and today I bring you another Tip Tuesday. Today's Tip Tuesday is Portrait of Igor Swarovinsky. This is the upside down portrait that Picasso made, I don't know what year, but it was an exercise that we made in my high school and it's an exercise that taught us how to draw what we're looking at instead of drawing what we think we're looking at. It's sort of like the contour, blind contour drawing where you look at your hand and you'd only put on, you would only allow to look at the paper. I mean, you're only look, you're only allowed to look at your hand while drawing without looking back at your paper. Uh, it's one of the exercises I got from this book, how to draw on the red side of your brain as well. And it pretty much, teaches you to draw based on the shapes and lines that you're looking at instead of drawing things you're familiar with. A portrait upside down doesn't look anything like a right side up portrait. Uh, therefore, you learn how to combine eye and hand coordination. Hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let me know your comments. Let me know what you think. So I start the drawing from the top left corner, going from left to right, but ultimately going down. Uh, similar to what a printer does. You wanna go left to right, left to right, and pace yourself going down. This exercise should take you from 30 to 45 minutes approximately. And the goal here is not to get it done quick, is not to get it done uh, precise, is to get your hand and eye working together you will encounter difficulties as you go and you would see how things are not aligned and you can erase, you can readjust. For me, I did, I did it digitally, so it was even easier for me to move things around and to shrink things. But the goal is to really focus your eye and tell your hand to draw what your eye is looking at. You wanna focus on line and as you go, pace yourself while making that line. And you also wanna pay, pay close attention to the negative space that you're drawing. And you don't wanna look at this drawing as a whole piece. You wanna look at it piece by piece, line by line. And if you can do numbers or letters, you can pretty much do this exercise. Every line that we see can be associated to a number or a letter. And if you don't believe me, here's a proof that you can make a portrait out of letters and numbers. This is another old project that I made. But it's pretty much simple lines, simple curves that will conclude in an overall shape. For me, this exercise, um, it was a challenge because every time I draw, I encounter the challenges and you know, I find a way to overcome it because as an artist, we're mostly problem solvers. And even when you start a project, you don't know the, you, you will encounter problems and the beauty of it is that you will find the solution for the problem. Now this part was a little tricky for me because in general, the head, I started with the circle, now with the neck. So to start it from the bottom up was an interesting take for me because again we're focusing on the shapes and the lines and the curves not what we learned in, in uh not what i learned by drawing anime or cartoons which was to divide that face in the middle and drew the eyes and whatnot but it's just going by the shapes and of course things didn't end up as accurate as i wanted them to or as i thought that it they would turn out but i was pretty close um but one thing that I learned from this is that once you carefully examine the line that you're making, and <clears throat> there'll be a time that you feel the shift from the left brain, from the left side of the brain to the right, and your eyes become a little more accurate. I don't know if you guys have experienced that, and it feels, uh, it feels like a superpower. But no, in reality, 
just try the exercise let me know if you guys have fun if you want to submit your your drawing just tag me on instagram at rtl studios or just uh, uh, put in the comment on youtube i hope you guys like this video and if you want to find the image there's a link in the description below it will take you to google pretty much you can download the photo there i hope you guys had a good time with this video hope you guys enjoyed and learned something don't forget to try out the challenge or the exercise on your own and tag me if you if you do the challenge or send me a comment describing how hard it is Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on social media, and if you like the video, click the like button. If you want to see more videos, click the video in the middle. And don't forget, never stop learning for you.